got some of the live football action going on at the moment. Iceland taking on England. It is goalless as far as that one is concerned. It's just kickoff. It's the first game in League A of the UEFA Nations League taking place today. I'm still looking forward and waiting for the day when we can have probably a CAF Nations League. I'm not alone in the studio today. I've got Josh alongside me. We will be looking at some of the interesting issues going on as far as the world of sports is concerned. And our market, and of course, we'll be looking at some of your bet slips and see if through the market was good for you today. Of course, we'll be uh, analyzing some of it. And look at it if uh, probably those of you who mix something and those who put something on something, things have gone well. And uh, well, we'll also uh, look at uh, some of the transfer gist that's been going on. The big one, you know, Messi, Sekeda, he stays. Well, it was used in 2017 by Gerard Piquet. It probably was a prophet. What he was saying was Messi stayed in 2020. Lionel Messi stays on at Barcelona. It's been making the rounds. And of course, there's also the sad news in Nigerian football fraternity that happened yesterday. The passing on of Ajibari Babalade, shooting stars legend and former player of the Super Eagles. Or we'd say the Green Eagles of Nigeria. There's been a lot. 07 00 00 00889 is the number to dial to join us on our market. And you can also join us on all social media platforms. Sports Radio, Brilla FM. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Brilla FM 889. And also, you can connect with us on the artist number in the land, just like I called before, 07 00 889. Eight, nine. Let's start straight from the one that's going on. 11 minutes gone in Reykjavik. Iceland clad in blue kits. England clad in white kits. It is scoreless as far as that is concerned. For those of you who are putting something on something, we want to know how the market is going for you and what you're thinking about as far as that game is concerned. And uh, of course, we will take you through some of the resorts that have taken place in the world of football. Today, I'm going to start straight from the South African Premier Soccer League. And Mamelodi Sundowns have won another league title. Denin Sonyango, seventh league title. And of course, the fifth league title for Pizzo Mosimane in his seven seasons in South Africa. Let's take the score for starters and use that. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, when you're ready, let us know. 07 00 889. But first and foremost, let's start from the resorts that have permeated the world of football today. We start from South Africa, just like I said. Amazulu 1 1 against Island Spark Baroka 1 1 against Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, Bevis Witz 3 1 against Polokwana City. Bloemfontein Celtic 3 1 against Maritzburg United. Cape Town City defeated Supersport by a goal to nothing. Cheaper United. 1-0 victors against Golden Arrows, Mamelodi Sundowns, 3-0 victors against Black Leopards, while Orlando Pirates beat Stellenbosch by a goal to nothing. KZ Chiefs fans will be cursing their luck because they topped the table. I don't know what you're going to call it. We probably might need to look at this in an African way. You have to have an explanation. KZ Chiefs were on top of the table for 29 weeks. The first time that they don't top the table is on the final match day against Mamelodi Sundowns. All they needed to do was win by any scoreline. 1-0, 2-0, better this. You know, they had a, a superior goal difference to, to, Keza, uh, to Mamelodi Sundowns as well. And what happened? They take the lead. It seems like everything is going on well. And then at the last minute, it happens that Baroka equalized and Keza Chiefs throw away the title on the final day of the season haven't topped the table for majority of the season you can imagine a team that has topped the table for every day bar three match days and those three matches at no time just once in the season did Mamelodi Sundown stop the table and then they come and win the trophy let's go to the front lines first hello hello good evening okay when you're ready let us know uh, so that we can communicate with you. But let's start with what kind of... Josh, how would you describe it? You top the table for majority of the season and you lose the title on the last day of the season. All you needed to do was win 
by any margin. 1-0, 2-0, Would you say there's a little... Look at the African perspective. Is it that um, something was wrong? Maybe, you know, because if you look at it, some people will say, they probably, they must have done something. But you, you just look at the table here. Top the table, last match day, sundowns come from behind. There has to be an explanation for it. What would you call it? And Smith and Top needs to just, I don't know. And Smith and Top. Appease the gods. Something like that. And Smith Top needs to go back to his village, go back to where he's from. He's never won a title in South Africa. Well, he's from Germany, so some white some white juju, basically. <laughs> some white juju from Fazan is what's happening there because this was your title to win. Like there was a there was a time that Kaiser Chiefs were on top of the table for seven with over seven points. Uh before ten points. Ten decide. points. So they were comfortable. They were they were in a league of their own. Daniel Lakbeyi was getting clean sheets left, right, and centre, and that's the that's the most annoying part of it for me, though, because I don't I don't care about their Marcos. I care about my my, my own player, mm, the national team goalkeeper. Yeah, number one goalkeeper currently in the national team, uh, except for the injury problems. Uh, but it's abysmal. It's disgraceful. It's 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 a shame that. Post COVID 19, Kaiser Chiefs have not been the Amakosi, they have been the Leopards. Mm. They, they have not been the Warriors, the, the, the kings of South African football. They have been disgraceful. Mm, they've been disgraceful. They just says that Amakosi have been disgraceful. Ernst Middendorp has been attempting to win a title in South Africa for a long time. It's not seven, seven time lucky. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. What's your I name? Think- my name is Hassan from Alambalagu. Okay, Hassan, you don't need to tell us where you're calling from. We don't need location, not needed. Your name is more than enough. Okay. How are you no doing problem. this evening? I think England will win this game 2 1. Okay, England will beat Iceland by yes. two goals to one. Yes. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my man. Thank you very much, Hassan. Hassan says that England will win against Iceland by two goals to one. It's 17 minutes gone in Reykjavik. It's Iceland nil. England. No, Josh, you look at the dynamic of this game between uh, the uh, Icelanders, the Vikings, and uh, the three Lions. You go back to 2016. Uh, I keep making reference to that game as well because England were overwhelming favourites, coached by uh, the Willy uh, Roy Hodgson. And of course, you look at the performance in that game, take the lead 1 0, and somewhat somehow, but before then, let's take the score. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, when you're ready, you let us know. 7 0 England take the lead in that game. It's all going well. And then Joe Art happens. Because that's the only explanation you can give for that. Joe Art, he happened. And when Joe Art happened, what happened? England lose two goals to one. The end of a journey. And probably the beginning of the end as well for Roy Hodgson. Because... Things went south for the three lines. From that there. was the end of Roy Hodgson. He he dropped. He, he retired. He left. He he fled. He ran away. And so why 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 so much of the superlatives? Why why so much adjectives? Because it was it was disappointing. It was mm. abysmal. It was it was a shame. It was a shambolic effort from the three lions. Mm. A clear shambolic effort from the three lions. This was a game that they should have beaten uh, Iceland. Albeit though not as comfortable as people had thought before that game, but. Once again, congratulations, that the knees witnessed such, such a beautiful moment. In fact, the second goal was scored. In fact, the goal was scored in the first half. Yeah, how the goal was scored in the first half. It just showed the discipline of uh, Lagerbach's men. Uh, that's, uh, and Helm Grimson as well. I always keep forgetting the name, but Lagerbach's men. Uh, it just showed that Arna Singh, Ragnar Sigurd Singh, who worked in that defense, Ari Skulasen, who celebrated with his... I remember he celebrating with his daughter mm. after that game. They, it, was a t- it, was, it was a beautiful sight to behold after that game. I kept on watching that thing probably till 2017. Even thinking about it now, I'm having good of good work. One thing I know for sure is that Iceland can beat in ground. Yeah. They know who they can it's make mouth to, it's not possible. Nigeria. It's they possible. cannot. They can't. They can't it's make mouth to Nigeria. Ahmed Musa dealt with them to go to nothing. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. What's your name? Oh, this is Mike. Okay, Mike. Well, I've got Josh in the studio alongside me. Uh, Josh, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Buenos noches. Mm. Go ahead. Do I have to to my ticket again? Do I have to me to your ticket? Come on. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. What's Tottenham, going on? Tottenham are playing in the international friendly right now. Yes, yes. They're playing. Um, in, yes. 
I think they are losing by two goals to zero. You think? Wait, you are not even sure of what you what you put on the ticket. You are not even monitoring. <laughs> You know, uh, that was the last time I checked. Oh, oh, time. Look, yeah. look, that's that's why we're here. We are monitoring uh, for you. So we are monitoring for you. They are losing. The they are losing. Club friendly game. Yes, they are losing by two goals to one yeah. against Jesus. Watford. I I carried the so. You you did what? Durant is up in there. Durant is up in there. Come on. I carried the You. Durant has not happened. Durant has happened already. Yeah, they have lost. They have lost. <laughs> they are not losing. They have lost. It's full time. It's full time. Yes. They have lost. They were losing 2 0. You mean son scored a goal, a consolation goal, and that was the end. 2 1. That's the end. So your ticket. Eh? Oh my goodness. It says Joe Hart has happened to his ticket. Yeah. Okay. Joe Hart. The ball squirms under Joe Hart's hand. And uh <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good evening. I had a superlative here, Bob. I never put a light in my head. Reserve it. I never put a light in my head. Good evening. Yes, what's your name? My name is Google Dino King. Okay, Google Dino okay. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. Okay. George, I've got Josh here. Josh, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you too. I hear you. Hello, go ahead, go ahead. Are you? Are you yeah. Is Johan admin to your ticket too? <laughs> I, I was well aware of Johan, so I did not put that in my ticket. Hey, you, oh, you were, you were, so you did not put it in your. So what's going on with then, your ticket? The moment I saw Tottenham was born, and I remember Johan having time to me, so. Oh, can you imagine? He says he remembers Johan to sign for Tottenham, so maybe that's the reason why it's hap it happened to the other caller. Of course. Ah, okay. So what what's happening with yours? Let's let's focus on yours now. My ticket, my ticket basically we are based on a, a ten minutes draw and they are running. Ten minutes draw, what game is that? The Nations League. The Nations League between Iceland and England? Yes. yes. Uh, it's already is twenty two minutes gone. Iceland uh, nil, <laughs> England nil. Yes, I, I, I just use the ten minutes draw. I don't want to I don't want to take right. Wait, is it for everything? Yes. Which other games are there? Let's 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 no. Let's let's keep track for you so that I mean, come on. Let's let's look at the other games there. Denmark versus most Belgium. Most of the games game that's already on now. There are ten minutes for and not the ticket is still running fine. The ticket is still running fine. Yeah. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I'm come on. I want to comment about the Amakosi. Yes. Go ahead. It's quite painful the way they lose the title. Mm, it's very painful. Uh, that, I believe uh, uh, sometimes uh, in a team, mm. the luck of one person can carry the whole team. Mm. Why? Why? I think he was there. He was saving the team, getting points for them. And I think, I think he was the one that uh, has been good today. Well, I'm sorry to show the trophy. Mm. Mm. Because a uh, uh, Kune, I uh, want to call him Kune, has been uh, in the sideline for a long time, so I yes. think he's that fit enough. Mm. So that may have contributed for him to contribute, uh, continue that goal. I mm. uh, them the trophy. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Your contribution, yeah. beautiful here this evening. He says he thinks Daniel Lackbey's absence probably. Pay up. Do you believe that? Because Daniel Lackbey, you also have to look at the game against the uh, uh, Beavers Vits against the students. They were still. Probably ahead of they were still well ahead of of of, of Sundowns at that point in time. If they had won that game, Sundowns also lost that game. Sundowns, that weekend Sundowns against have, Baroka. Sundowns themselves have not really been uh, flying along cylinders. They've been dropping points carelessly. Uh, I, I think they lost to Marsburg United as mm -hmm. well. Dropping points home and away. Uh, games that they should win, they're getting draws. Games that they should actually uh, get draws, they're losing. So mm. it's been a topsy turvy. Gallop, gallop to the title. It's not a run. It's 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 like, it's like one step front and two steps backward for Kaiser let, let me intercept you right there. Five steps backwards for Kaiser Chief. Five steps backwards. Hello. Hello. Good evening. What's your name? Hello. Good evening, guys in the studio. Yes, it's FJ and Josh. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. What's your name? AGK. AGK is talking. AGK. Good evening. How are you doing? Yes. I want you to kindly update me with the call line between uh, North Macedonia. And, uh, they want to North run. Macedonia and who? Armenia, not Macedonia, one two one. What about Gibraltar, sir? Uh, wait, wait, before we even continue, you are just asking for this cause. Does this have something to do with... Did you put something on something? 
Of course, yes. Hey, hey. So that's so now you are talking. So talk for let's <laughs> let's know first, and then we'll be able to help you analyze and you know whether celebrate or you know. Ex- so what did you Gibraltar and who? And Gibraltar, San Marino, eh? Yeah? Huh? And San Marino, Gibraltar. And San- yeah. Okay, so what did you play there? Let's start from there. Uh-huh. Gibraltar to win. G- okay, so Gibraltar won against San Marino. Ah, I, I wanted, I, I wanted, to, I, I would have preferred if I put him under a little bit of. Uh, let's, 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 let's let him go. We, we know there are still a lot of games he, he will tell us about. So tell us which other games are on the ticket before Johad visits that ticket. No, Johad will never visit my ticket. Hey, oh, no problem. He will, he will not, but you have to tell us so that Johad will not visit your ticket. Oh, God, okay. what about Bologna? Bologna? World club yes, friendly. International friendly. Yes. What did you play for Bologna? Bologna to win. But against Ferra uh, Pisalo in Italy, the game ended. Yes. The game ended. It ended. Josh, it seems like they beat Bologna. Or what are you saying? I, I think so. I think so. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Bologna okay. won. Okay. Two goals to nothing. <laughs> Bologna won two nil. So, which one again? Tell us. Tell us. Let's okay. know. I don't know whether this one will be a problem or this, uh, this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, England? Match. Reading. 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 <laughs> EFL Cup. Reading. Yes. EFL Cup. Yes. You played ready. <laughs> Go on your knees now. Go on your knees. Go on your knees. <laughs> Go on your knees. Jo- oh, jo- is that Joat? I'm seeing Joat there, Josh. I'm seeing Joat. He's looking like Joat. I'm seeing Joat. This is I've seen Joe. Ross, what did you play? What, 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 what did you do last night? Before, what did you do last uh, night? What did you, let's start from Jay. What did you do last night? Uh, so there's a Joe in this one. Wait, what what you, you, see, you know what I'm saying? You said there's a Joe Wait, when you were when you were picking these games, what were you what were you thinking about? Not you know, my no, brother. Are you married, bros? Why not? Okay, do you have side treatment? Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, Josh. We'll, 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 we'll catch you. Stop asking questions like that. So, I, I think there is there is job, but there's no heart there. Reading won by three goals to one. Hey, ten goals to one. <laughs> so, what, they are just giving us one by one. What, which game is now... How, which one do you think you had would have visited? Bro, 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 what about Everton? Everton Preston. <laughs> this man. Be Thank careful. You, bro. Be careful. Be Everton, careful. Uh, Preston. Be careful. I'm Thank warning you. you, be careful. Everton pressing. That is world club friendly. If I'm very correct, what did you play then? Everton to win. Everton to win. You need to go and start praying. No? Start <laughs> praying. No? Pray. I'm Pray. Praying I'm on my knees. Are you praying? I'm praying. I'm not sure you are praying. My yeah, brother, pray. I'm praying. I'm Everton. Praying I'm seeing something. No? Josh, no, something. Sure. The team with team won. <laughs> the team with team won. The team with team won. The team with team. Yes, the team with team won. That's the only team. Them are with team now. <laughs> so you have to just choose the one with team that won now. Everton. Ah, you are the one that said so. I was not the one. Who... So I want it to be like that. Okay, Everton defeated Preston by two goals to nothing. That's the final I score there. <laughs> yeah. It's... Can you imagine? <laughs> so the ticket is now green. Now run away. Now run away. Human beings. We are going to deal with him the next time he, jo- he joins us on the phone line. Zero seven double zero double zero double zero. He couldn't express his gratitude to the gods. Yes, he couldn't ex- express. And, his... and, and we the messengers of the gods. Yes, we are the messengers. We are delivering the results to you and you are, you are, you are. But quickly before we go back to looking at our tickets are going on and how everyone's market has been going, let's quickly go to the transfer window and see how things are going in that neck of the woods. A lot of the gist been coming from that. We've looked at Arsenal as well. Uh, we, we talked about that during Football Live. But let's quickly look at some of the latest transfer gists that are making the rounds, as well as some of the latest news that are going on as far as the world of football is concerned. Interesting ones right there. Chelsea fans are happy. Kai Avertz has moved to the club. It's been confirmed. It's official. Uh, the jersey, you know, he said he moved there because of Frank Lampard. We talked about it on Football Live. We also uh, talked about the small matter of uh, Lionel Messi and uh, announcing. He almost called Joseph Maria Bartomeu a traitor. Almost. I didn't say he did. 
almost almost, called, almost. he stopped short. Almost. He almost said, he almost put a hand on Jose Maria Bartomeu's nose. But what did he do? He said he has to respect the elders. That was what he did. And that's good. Well-trained guy. If he was not well-trained. And then earlier on today, Everton confirmed the signature of the Brazilian midfielder Alain from Napoli on a three-year deal. Let's talk about Everton a little bit. We're looking at the players they've been signing. There's been rumors of James Rodriguez about to be confirmed as well. With the category of players that Everton is signing, the kind of coach they have in Carlo Ancelotti, what is the reasonable target for the Blues, the Toffees, next season? Well, looking at the way the whole uh, other things in the league are, uh, it's... it's <laughs> I kind of want to give Carlo Ancelotti some. I kind of want to cut Carlo Ancelotti some slack. I'll probably say compete for Europa League places, but the Premier League is as competitive as ever. As competitive as ever. We have uh, the likes of Wolves. Wolves are still there. Wolves are to Wonders. Unfortunately, they would not be playing in Europe next season due to the fact that they finished seventh and Arsenal won the FA Cup. So they took the other Europa League spot. Spurs, who finished sixth, will play in Europa League qualifiers. Arsenal will go straight up into the group stage because of the fact that they won the FA Cup. And, um, 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 they are still Sheffield United that were close, even though I don't see Sheffield United repeating what they did last season, even though it's possible that they could actually still repeat uh, their phenomenal run to the top to the top 10 of the league table. They almost, uh, 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 at the starting point in time, they were chasing the top four, then they were chasing the top five, then they were chasing the top six, and then they fell down to ninth on the league table. Uh, but Sheffield United really gave a good account of themselves. I know this is Carlo Ancelotti's first full season as manager of the Toffees. I know he's gotten Alan, uh, he has an Alexi Wobi who has still failed to live up to his potential. We'll, talk, we'll come to Alexi Wobi as well. Mm. For uh, Carlo Ancelotti probably wants to make uh, Napoli uh, a, a destination Everton. For, yeah, Everton, sorry, a destination for Serie A clubs, uh, for Serie A players, mm. ex Serie A players, and whatever works for him, he's also bringing some of his his former uh, pupils yeah. to his side. Alan from Napoli, James Rodriguez from Real Madrid, and it also shows that he wants to enact something special out there at Everton. But can he be able to do it? I would say no because. The only team in the top seven that's among the teams that qualify for Europe, the only team that, to me, looks like may not uh, uh, repeat last season's uh, exploits, looking like it could be Leicester City. Mm. But then they have an, they have uh, uh, they have a uh, Jimmy Vardy. They've only lost Ben Chilwell, and they lost uh, they lost um, um, Maguire last season. They got Soyuncu, and then we saw how they improved in leaps and bounds the new season. So. I think that the team that actually may fall by the wayside is Spurs, Tottenham Spurs. Mm. They may fall by the wayside uh, when the season starts. And um, if they do fall by the wayside, there's a Wolves waiting in the wings to take over in that top seven spot. So I don't see Everton breaking the top seven. Mm. All right, and there's Josh. Josh says he doesn't see Everton breaking into the top seven. But here it is. We're going straight to transfer roundup. That's what we're going to be serving you for the next few minutes. And Fabio Daniel Suarez da Silva is now a Wolverhampton Wanderers player. Wolves continue their purchase of many Portuguese players. This boy has arrived at Porto, is played for the Academy of Football Club de Porto and Benfica as well. Returned from Benfica to Porto and of course he's now finally joined Wolves. He's joined Wolverhampton Wanderers for a club record signing. He's just 18 years of age. That's the fascinating part about that one. The last 18-year-old that Porto bought was from, sorry, that Wolves bought from Porto as well, is that young man that now dominates the midfield is Ruben Neves. But of course, let's quickly bring you up to speed with what's going on in Reykjavik. It's Iceland nil, England nil. 34 minutes have been played right there. It's been a free kick from Iceland and it's gone a begging as far as that is concerned. And of course, just like we said, Leno Messi will stay at Football Club Barcelona. Meanwhile, it's almost certain that Newcastle will go in for Callum Wilson, the Bournemouth striker. Of course, there's been an injury to Dwight Gill. That is the reason why Newcastle are now pursuing a move for Callum Wilson. We go away from there and we move straight to 
Chelsea, where Ethan Ampadu has got a big call to make of his Chelsea career, according to Will's manager, Ryan Giggs. He says, Ethan Ampadu has to play a lot of games this season. The 19-year-old Welsh international endured frustration at club level with limited game time at Chelsea and RB Leipzig, where he spent last season on loan. His path to the Chelsea first team, at least in a defensive capacity, will be for the block. Let's look at the Chelsea defence. They've got uh, Malang Sa, Thiago Silva. Uh, they've got Kurt Zuma. They've got Antonio Rudiger. They've got uh, Andres Christensen as well. We're talking about a raft load, a pile of defenders, and then Ethan Ampadu. He can also play as a defensive midfielder, but also there is part of the, the first team is blocked by Mateo Kovacic can play as a number six. You've got Jorginho who can play there as well. You've got uh, 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 Ngolo Conte who can play there as well. You've got Ruben Loftus-Cheek who can also, you know, do a little bit of a, of a good work right there as well for Ethan Ampadu. Which team do you think uh, the Chelsea youngster can go to? Because it seems as though Chelsea are not done spending. Yeah. And maybe no, if Jorginho goes... <laughs> Who uh, knows? Clearly no girlfriend. And then uh, 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 we saw earlier today uh, Fabrizio Romano and some people out there on top of social media was going to say, was say that um, um, Chelsea could go for Thiago Alcantara. Mm -hmm. so, so if they go for Thiago Alcantara, that means no space at all for Ethan Ampadu. So I would say that he should probably take the Marco Van Ginkel route or the Aki route. Not Marco Van Ginkel, Mukaka route is to go to a smaller club either in England or back to the Netherlands and mm. they will definitely get playing time there. Once that happens, they will become the, ta the taste uh, of, of, of the new clubs. They will become the hot, hottest prospects in town. They become the new Kevin De Bruyne and Mohamed Salah mm. in this world. So, and Romelu Lukaku is including. Lukaku is including. So it's one thing, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just great to show that Michael uh, Emenalo has been phenom was phenomenal at Chelsea. This, this project that uh, he started at Chelsea that's produced the likes of Kalim Hotunador, Itam Abraham, Salah, De Bruyne, Lukaku, Courtois, Edin Hazard. He's really, he's really had an eye for great young talent. And mm. Chelsea are reaping in leaps and tremendous bounds uh, with all the wealth of youth that they have uh, in their team. They're never letting some go, some are going and are still prospering. Uh, outside the shores of Stamford Bridge. So it's a great one for Chelsea, it's a great one for the uh, youth team. They won, I think, two consecutive youth leagues mm. uh, titles in, in, the, in the past decade. Um, it's something that uh, 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 it's an should look and, and, and give himself hope and confidence. But it's not that I cannot play this football. It's not that I'm not a good footballer. It's not that there's no space, there's no opportunity where I'm at. So it's time to move to pastures are new and they could be green pastures. Right okay, green pastures. Let's talk about someone who's been angling for a move for greener pastures. Eberechi Etze, the Nigerian, is a signed for Crystal Palace last week. Uh, for a club record fee as well. The man he's been touted to replace, even though I don't think he was supposed to replace that man, is Wilfred Zaha. Zaha has been linked heavily with a move to Arsenal. However, however, if you're an Arsenal fan, look away right now. Because Everton, Atalanta and Bayer Leverkusen are the clubs currently leading the race. This is a, a case scenario of a guy chasing a lady and the lady doesn't want him. No matter how, how hard he tries. Well, well, uh, well, a, mi a minute there, because I don't know. Well, I, I, don't, I, don't understand, I don't understand this, your, this, your, this your analogy. I don't want to understand it. Okay. The, it's not I don't understand it, but I don't want to understand it. Okay. Uh, Uche is an Arsenal fan. And maybe well, you understand. Zaha clearly doesn't want Zaha. Zaha has tried. He's given him all the hints, all the. Is things. it that? I, that's why I said I don't understand. I don't want to understand the analogy. Uche. Is it that Arsenal don't want Zaha or Arsenal cannot afford Zaha? I think um, at this moment, Zaha wants Arsenal more than how, uh, um, Arsenal wants Zaha. Come again. Zaha wants Arsenal more than Arsenal wanting Zaha. So Josh's analogy is accurate. Yeah, because... So, so Zaha <laughs> in the friend zone. So, <laughs> no, because... Yeah. Wait, wait. Is Zaha in the friend zone? It's you know, it's just it's or just, the brother zone is actually it's 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 just, out zone. It's, it's just um, a mutual zone. Ah, just okay. a mutual zone because Never. I think I think the coach that Never. really the coach that really wanted Never. Was, Never. Was, was Una Hemway. 
But we look at Ateta. Ateta has not even talked anything about him wanting Zaha or him um, liking the way Zaha plays, him trying to put in Zaha into it. Because if we look at when the season ended um, post COVID 19, there were images going on social Can media. Can you see the look on my face? No, you, you, you see images shook. on social media. Yeah. Zaha linking, Zaha linking himself up to Arsenal. 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 There was even one time it was, it, was, it was in the nice club and he was, showing him, he was showing himself and asked his friends Arsenal badge, trying to do get attention for uh, from us now maybe they will still come back for him even um even um crystal palace had to reduce his price to around 40 35 to 40 million pounds i'm um, thinking maybe Arsenal will still come back for the amount but i think it's not just uh, one of the players at that feels with fitting into his plan or fitting into his style of play so we're gonna ask yeah it's not just a spec it was it was formerly Arsenal spec but I think uh, I, I, I think, think there's was, nothing there's nothing special about him that Ateta sees. I don't think it was really I, I, I think that maybe feels even the young players he has going up at us now. The that's still all can can see. Yeah, he's not be even the sucker. Sorry, we, sorry, Josh. Um, Uche, both of you. I need to understand something. Last summer, Arsenal were all over. Wilfred Zaha. Crystal Palace took the Crystal Palace took the price tag to eighty million pounds. Yeah, and that was the reason why you, Arsenal you, went and got you, you, Pepe. You, People you, said they should have got gotten you, Zaha over Pepe. That was what, what? That, that, that was Una Una Emery's projects, and this is Ateta's projects. Because uh, I think um, Arsenal board, they are doing everything possible to make sure they get the players Ateta wants. They want, they don't want to get players for Ateta. They want Ateta to pick a player. They don't try to breed and get him. Because even in the Williams scenario, I think Ateta was involved in that um, Williams deal. Because so even, they, even when Williams came, Williams said he, he had phone calls, he had conversations with Ateta, and he saw reasons. And Sebalo, said he wants to win the Champions League. Even, even, even Sebalo, yes. even Sebalo coming back, Sebalo rejected about three clubs. Mm. He said he wants to, he wants to play on that theta. So, so I think basically it's just Ateta wants you, it tells the club this is it. because even um f- since the uh, transfer markets opened, Arsenal have been talking about party because Ateta has sh- really showed interest in him. Yeah, that's, one party. that's why Arsenal keeps talking about him. He's always at is always in the conversation of mm. Arsenal. So it's not all about Ateta wants a player, the club is getting it for him. Because I think if Ateta had showed interest in Zaha, probably Arsenal would have uh, gone out to bid for I think maybe that was one of the reasons um Prince Palace went to get the Nigeria and the Nigerian boy AC. Because mm. probably they're they trying to think they are trying to live life after Zaha. I think maybe a club will come for him because they've reduced the it's price of, of Zaha. I think there was even one time it was linked to Pierre Paris Saint Germain, it was linked out of um, um Chris Abba, but there's no proper bid for him. That that shows uh apparently he did not do well enough and um, this um, previous season that just ended because um, prior to this previous season i think if it was last season definitely probably different clubs would definitely be coming for him but at this moment it's not what ateta needs going forward i think can work with the couple of players he has then just add a uh, little bit bite in that midfield because uh ateta, ateta already brings, uh, he's already he's already working with william and william is a versatile player that can play from the wing that can play even as a midfielder so uh, ateta even knows he can play abman from the wing that's the same position where yeah. Zaha plays, I <coughs> play, I play, I'm like Zet in front. So I think it's not just about what Zaha. Zaha is, yeah, he has done well for Crystal Palace. He has been top notch for them. He wins penalty, uh, does a lot of assists for them. Uh, he knows how to dribble, how to do everything. But I think it's just not in Ateta's plan. It's just not that man that Ateta needs to get the WWW is planning to get when the season resumes. He you know? says WWW, he calls the Premier League season. A wrestling championship. Well, I said WWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWWW
um, about uh, Manchester United, mm -hmm. I think they are, they are trying to be to be considerate about everything they are doing now. Wait, what do you mean by considerate? So before Man United were not considerate, you yeah, we were reckless. Well, I think it's not about they, they think about all the time that they spend money on uh, Sanchez and the rest of them. Okay, and, you know, no results for it. Wow, so they, Thank you very much. It says he hopes that uh, Man United, he called Manchester United a reckless team. Hello, Hello good evening. Hello. Hello, yeah, good, good evening. evening. Yes, what's your name? Yeah, good evening. My name is Benson. Okay, Benson, go ahead. Yeah, first time caller. Okay, first time caller. You're welcome, Benson. Yeah, please. I I like your your everything you guys are doing. Yes, thank you very much. But what I just want to know is all about Barcelona. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you can help me out with that. Okay, we will give you some of Barcelona's transfer gist right about now because uh, we're going to bring this to you. Memphis Depay has been identified as a key target for Football Club Barcelona replacement for Luis Suarez, who is expected to complete a move to Juventus. Well, we, we're going to talk about the fact that Ronald Koeman is low-key turning Football Club Barcelona into an annex of the Dutch national team. We've seen this before, haven't we? Let's take this call first. Hello. 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 Good evening. You don't know MJ. This is Chukwe. This is the back on the line. Okay, Chukwe is a welcome. Um, I've got Josh with me here. Josh, I hello. I hear you. I am enjoying all your conversation. Yes, thank yeah. you. Thank you, bro. Yes, I I want to just comment on uh, Chelsea by this season. Now the the new transfers are coming. Mm, go ahead. So, I, I think they are they have been buying with uh, more intelligence now than before. They, wait, wait, so they, they were not buying with intelligence before? At all, at all. What do you mean? Explain yourself. When they are buying Bakayoko, buying uh, all the calling, you call drink water, buying all those of that they, they all those kind of players that cannot add value to the team. Yeah, yeah, and these players you're mentioning are title now. winners. Bakayoko, title, title winner. winner. What, what is the level of their contribution to the title win? Come on, but without Bakayoko, Monaco would not have won the league in 16-17, sure you know. That was in Monaco. I'm talking about him in Chelsea. Bakayoko at Chelsea and Bakayoko at Monaco is not the same player. Yes, now. Now, Drinkwater at the same player at Chelsea. But do, 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 does that make them um, unintelligent guys? Oh, we lost him right there. He's, a lot of people have been talking, we are talking about unintelligent guys. This is our market. Some people, their ticket has Jawat in it. So, if you have Jawat in your ticket, does that mean you you were unintelligent about your ticket today? Everybody's just talking about unintelligent, mind you, reckless. Chelsea, unintelligent. Why? Please, let's be careful. Let's know, let's know the direction we're going in. But let's talk about Football Club Barcelona. That's where we were at. Football Club Barcelona want to sign Memphis Depay. There's already been links with Ginny Wijnaldum. Ronald Koeman is reassembling the Dutch national team in Catalonia. That's what it look like, looks like, for sure. Probably is this not... So, could be the next on wait, the agenda. wait first. Does this, you know, looking at this, does this not ring a bell and remind you of um, Rui van Hal when he came and started bringing in the likes of Michael Reziga, the likes of, um, right, of, uh, uh, yes, uh, of, of Koku. Koku. He, he was bringing in all of them, twins, yes. Twins, uh, Does this uh, not remind uh, you? Mars, uh, this, uh, 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 Does he not remind you? No, wait, 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 just go ahead. Just, no, just, ju let's cut to the chase. Does this not remind you of, because, Remember, it's not just, it's not just uh, Louis Van Gaal that's done this too, but as a man that wasn't the coach of the French national team, but he, he kind of was just bringing his boys, his French boys, the Pires, the Thierry Henry, the Patrick Vieira, the Manuel Petit. Let's get it right. There's a difference. That dynamic is not the same as this one. This one, the coach of the Dutch national team becomes the coach of FC Barcelona, and the first thing he does is to pick players who are starting for him. Because these are players that he knows how to work with. I just think it's, I think it's roughly still the same thing as picking players that you have worked with in times past. It's, it's just the best thing. There's no explanation. It's he goes back. Team. Van Hal went back to Ajax. Yeah. Brought in Davies. Brought in, brought in his Riz Gar, got, Brought in all those guys yeah. into the team. Five, six players, Dutch players, brought them into the team. Turned football club Barcelona, Loki, 
to, uh, to the, the Dutch national team. To, to the ex Ajax team that won the Champions League. And what happened? We've seen this movie before, haven't we? One league title in three years and was booted out. Well, Van Gaal wasn't bad, really bad at at, at Ronald Kuma was his assistant. Yeah, he was he wasn't really that bad. He won two league titles in his in his first three years at the club. Uh won the Copa de Rey once. But he just probably clashed with the media and had lots of issues because probably maybe he wasn't accepted by the Catalan team, even though he was accepted by the board and by the players as well. So he he, was, he brought to the likes of Rivaldo. Uh, uh, he was there when I think Enrique left. Uh, 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 Guardiola became the captain under him. So I I think it was it was a fair it was a fair pretty good uh, time for Barcelona. It wasn't. They didn't have Messi or Ronaldinho to really. But they had Rivaldo. They had the bull-legged Brazilian. And uh, they won most great most, player. They won the most league titles during that spell. And I think that another thing that Ernesto Valverde could probably be sitting somewhere and, and laughing at this club because Ernesto Valverde wasn't that bad of a personal manager as he was. He, he was made to see. Him. He choked in the Champions League clearly. But what he won the two, he won two league titles on that when he was there. He was top of the league when he was there. In fact, they humiliated Real Madrid 5 1 without Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in that game. Mm. So, I think that sometimes you could say karma is playing a huge factor for clubs. And Patrick Club and Barcelona Real Madrid would say when karma played its role for Real Madrid when they sat rejected the Bosque after he won the Champions League in 2002. You sat rejected the Bosque and then you had to cry, wail, plead, pray to God for your La Decima that came 12 years later. You have to assemble lots of players, spend mi- billions of pounds. You have to get Ronaldo, had to get Bale, had to get Beckham, Ronaldo de Lima, had to get lots of players before you finally... In fact, some of those players retired, were sold, left the club. There was an evolution, there were multiple evolutions at Benabeo before they finally got their last decima. And now in the DC Dan has finally settled, they are now finally settled into their Valhalla because it seems all is all cool for them out there uh, 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 in Madrid. So I just think, well, even if it works for him, it's fine. It's what's the point? The, the, uh, uh, the end, Machiavelli uh, uh, says that the end justifies the means. Mm. I know that people always use that statement for illicit activities, but in this time around, in coaching, however you get there, get there and win us trophies. If Ronald Koeman ends this the new season, 2021 season, with a treble, European treble, the third European treble for Barcelona. I don't think anyone would complain about how he turned FC Barcelona to the Dutch national team based in Catalonia. Well, Josh says he doesn't think anyone will question Ronald Koeman about how he turned it. But let's, before the fans begin to question why we're not picking the calls. Oh. Hello, good evening. Oh, good evening. Yes, what's your name? Taiwo. Taiwo, Taiwo, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Please, guy, I want to know about Arsenal transfer. And I want to know how to is this Western player, uh, Felipe Sanders, who also. Felipe Anderson. Yes, that is good for the guy. We will, we, we will get through to that as soon during the course of the show. Okay. Yes. Thank yes. Thank you very much. Right there. Let's quickly go on to the UEFA Nations League. It's half time in the games right there. Iceland nil nil against England at the moment. It's going on in Reykjavik in League C, Group One. Azerbaijan one nil up against Luxembourg. Arsenal fans don't like to remember Baku, do they? Chelsea fans, however, love it. Cyprus nil nil against Montenegro. That's the scoreline in that neck of the woods. And of course. In League C, Group 2 as well, Georgia, a one nil up against Estonia. Georgia, fantastic players they had in their days, the likes of Kaka Kaladze, King Kaladze as well, and of course, uh, Aveladze. Great players they had, as, but uh, even with the great players, couldn't qualify for a Euros or a World Cup. No, the World Cup may be a fan fetched, at least the Euros, but let's take the score. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. What's your name, Femo? Yeah, this is Benson calling back. Okay, Benson, go ahead. Yes, I appreciate what you guys are doing. Yes. Like you're, doing a good jo- you're doing a good job. Thank you very much, Femo. But you were talking about Barcelona. Yes. And I like it, but I see having Messi going, Messi coming back. Fine. But what I just want to know 
is Batina Fine. Who are they fining? Yes, we were talking about that right about now. They've been linked with Memphis Depay, linked with uh, Ginny Wijnaldum as well. Two players they've been linked with already walked through the door this summer. They've had uh, Francisco okay. Rinsau coming from uh, SC Braga. Of course, they got a young signing as well. He's going to be playing for Barcelona B as well. He's a young African signing. Senegalese to be okay. precise. Mod uh, Modibo has arrived at Barcelona B. And that's just as far as it is at the moment. Not so much to talk about in that neck of the woods. Okay, thank you. Can, okay, can I just hi, Manny? Deal with Barcelona. What is Sadio Mane deal with Barcelona? Oh, there's no Sadio Mane deal. There's no news as far as that is concerned. But we'll bring you up to speed once there's any news coming from that neck of the woods. Okay, very much. Yes, you're welcome, Benson. And of course, at Barcelona, that is where we are at the moment. We are in Catalonia. Uche, you look at uh, Football Club Barcelona and the way they're set up at the moment. Ronald Koeman is the manager. He knows what he wants to play. Everyone's been calling for a tiki-taka. Everyone wants Football Club Barcelona to go back to being more than a club. He's a symbolic man for Barcelona. He's already told some players, I don't want you, Luis Suarez, Arturo Vidal. Make sure you get a new club. Both of them about to do the Italian job. But players that are coming in, he says he wants Gini Wijnaldum, Memphis Depay. Those are the players. He also has Go, Frankie de Jong. And, and uh, he has Frankie de Jong as well. Um, Samuel Umtiti has been told to look for another club. That could mean Barcelona want to get another defender. Probably by Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We don't if know. If they were fortunate but, that they got Matias de Leeds. Uh, yes, he could have. It would have made it interesting. You know, um, you look at that as well. And maybe Barcelona at the moment... Uh, they have Junior Ferpo, but there were, there were rumours before the end of last season that, look, they were not so happy with Junior Ferpo at left-back. Currently, the Netherlands have a raft of left-backs. Interesting youngsters who can play at left-back. But don't let's go there yet. Let's talk about Memphis and Gino Bam. Is Ronald Koeman turning Barcelona, FC Barcelona, into a low budget Dutch national team <laughs> emphasis uh, on low budget <laughs> um, I think um, um, one of the reasons Barcelona um, got um, when at Coman was because of the he knows the tradition of the club. Mm. He, he has history with the club. I think that was one of the reasons he was favorite uh, to get the Barcelona job. And one thing is for, for you to bring a manager to manage the club and other things for you to allow him make use of the players he wants. Mm. Because um, he was formerly the um, Dutch national team. Um, and I think he has worked he has worked with White now Dom, he has worked with um, uh, Memphis Depay. I think Memphis Depay is one player he feels um, he can he can play as a winger and as, uh, can also play as a force nine. And right now he's trying to get rid of players he does not work to, or does not want to work with um, from the, uh, the beginning of the season. He, uh, he already um, got Rakitic out. Rakitic has gone back to Sevilla. He stood Suarez. Suarez is not part of the, his plan for for his new uh, for his, for this new season. He already told um, he already told uh, Atu, I think Atu Vidal is also on his way out. Um, uh, then Umtiti is also on, on his way now because he said he doesn't want to work with Umtiti. Uh, I, I think uh, Barcelona needs to get a leader in that central defense because um, you you have um, you have um, what's this other player that plays with? Clare Longley. Yeah, you have, uh, you have Clare Longley. Uh, you have Todibo who is also coming into the team. But I think uh, um, these players are still very young. They cannot um, um, control that defense line. They need, they need a leader in that defense. They need someone who can control the defense line. They need uh, uh, they need a, a defender like um, Virgil van Dijk. You know, I knew you were going to mention yeah, somebody Dutch. Yeah, yeah, because he's also <laughs> <laughs> one of those Dutch players. He has also managed, but it's just um, impossible for um, Barcelona to bring in Virgil van Dijk into into their team because they are going to definitely spend a huge lot of money. And right now, uh, Barcelona are not willing to spend big or heavily on players because of the um, pandemic or situation. And they know the, most of the players that are getting rid of, they're not making big cash on them because even if they're going to make any cash from Suarez or it's going to be something maybe 10, 15 or lower than that because uh, they just want to just get rid of them and set up a new um, Barcelona era all that the new management of Ronald Koeman. Uh, I think uh, Wisenado brings a lot into that midfield. 
Why is not done is a player uh, who keeps fit. Is someone that is always fit and ready for any game. He's a player that can play as a defensive midfielder because you are gradually uh, Bosque. Bosque will definitely not give you the Bosque of four years ago, three years ago. Will not give you the services of the Bosque we are who I own. He's, he's always fit, ready for the game. He can play as a defensive midfielder. He can play as a central midfielder. He can play even behind the striker. Yeah, right now, might not give you the numbers when it comes to goals and assists, but you cannot take up take away the services and bring it to that midfield. We have seen that in Liverpool. He has been deployed in different position and he always comes good for Liverpool. Mm. That fits into his agenda. Mm. That make Barcelona uh, one of the teams that, 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 that will compete in Europe and in La Liga. So that's why I think that's why he's just going for the top prize. It's also happened under as a winger uh, um, era, uh, era when, he came, when he came into the Premier League. Uh, I think he was getting the, the French players, the likes of Thierry Henry, um, uh, the level of French players uh, he got for himself because he feels it's, it will be easy for them to settle down. I think that's probably what Evan at Coman is just doing. He does not have the big money to spend on big players. So the little amount of money he just wants to get the best avail available players for the uh, positions he wants to fill in. I think uh, so that, uh, an amount in the region of 15 million pounds for the service of uh, White Nadom and probably gets 25 to 30 um, um, for uh, for Memphis Depay. So uh, I think the boss should just allow him to uh, pick the set of players he wants. This the set of players he feels uh, will work in this um, new regime for Barcelona because all of us knew, all of us knows uh, Barcelona they've they've only really gone down and right now they've tried to settle the old Messi saga. Messi. Messi has given them assurance that he wants to stay in play. So right now, you also have to convince Messi with some new legs and some new style of play that, yes, um, uh, we did not just convince you to stay at the club. We are ready to um, give you some good players and some players that, yes, they can work with you and just make um, Barcelona one of, the, one of the teams that will compete in Europe, fight for the La Liga title, to give them a day they run for their money and just make, um, make Barcelona very competitive next season because um, if 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 you don't get the set of players that will work with for you, maybe Real Madrid might just run away with the title again, and that's not what Barcelona board are planning. They want to make the team competitive. They want they want to make Barcelona look good. Even getting even when you are getting rid of the hood legs, you start integrating players little by little. When you get um, when you get Piquet out of it, you bring in. If you, you want to bring in uh, from the La Masia, you integrate them gradually. You don't have to rush them into the first team. So I think it's just a gradual process for Ronald Koeman. He knows the job he picked up. He knows but um, now they are on a decline. He knows it needs so many things to be done for this club because if he fails to make Barcelona compete this season, I doubt if Barcelona might be patient enough because Barcelona wants things working as soon as possible, as fast as possible. I think that, that was why they got a service because they know, yes, this guy already has the tradition because if you look at all the managers that were linked, he's probably not one of the best because when you look at even Allegri was also linked to the job. Allegri, uh, Allegri has a good CV on his side. He has played in the Champions League final twice. He has played in the semi final. He has played against big boys. But if you they see they see a um, they see a coach in Bernard Coman. He's, he's also doing it for the Dutch national team. He took the Dutch national team to the um, yeah, to the final of the um, UEFA Nations League. So they, they see the way he's also um, integrating se uh, some set of young players in the Dutch national league, and they see the style of football boys also playing for the Dutch National League. So I think that's why they want to work with Ronald Koeman because he already has a tradition with Barcelona. He knows that Barcelona, they are free flow uh, style of football. They play ticket attack and stuff like that. So Ronald Koeman should be able to bring that. So let them just align. Hopefully they come good for him and probably Barcelona will compete for the La Liga and even the uh, Champions League. Okay, thank you very much for that, Uche. With in-depth analysis as far as Football Club Barcelona, is concerned. We'll be opening the phone lines and of course as we track the progress as well of Nigerian players moving around the globe. There's been already news of Chidoze Awaziem's in, um, imminent move to CD Boavista in Portugal. Boavista, remember, are the only other side apart from Porto, Benfica and Sporting to win the Portuguese Superliga in the past 25 years. So pretty much not so much uh, i know a lot of people will not be so excited about to move to cd Boavista, but it's not a bad place to go to especially considering the fact that um uh, could have ended up in uh, a much worse that move is imminent it could come as fast as 
possible. Remember, Alaziem is at Porto, was on loan at Legan as last season, was one of the best players as they were relegated. But Avista finished 12th in the Portuguese Superliga last season and uh, much more in terms of defending. They were the sixth best defense in the league. However, they didn't score enough goals. Luxembourg won. It's 1-1 in Baku. And Cyprus, 0-0 against Montenegro. Estonia, 1-0 down against Georgia. And it's been full-time in two games already played today. North Macedonia, 2-1 against Armenia. Gibraltar, 1-0 against San Marino. Tonight, at a quarter to eight, big games. Denmark take on Belgium. Portugal take on Croatia. Sweden take on France. Three blockbuster matches at a quarter to eight. Let us go to the phone line, 07 889 First, let's take some of the comments on Facebook fan page. And, of course, good evening, uh, Brilla FM. Can you please give us live scores? Of course, that's what we're doing right about now. Gazan also says Bakayoko was the worst thing that happened to Chelsea. Let's take this score. Hello, good evening. Hello. Well done. Thank you. Keep the comments coming in. Daniel Midvidev taking on Jeffrey John Wolf. He's taking the first set 6 3. He's currently 3 1 up in the second set. And of course, in another game going on at the moment, Roberto Bautista Agut, the Spaniard taking on Vassel Pospicio, is 5 5 in that particular one in the first set. Alex de Mina, no, no, uh, is love, love, sorry, against Katie McInally as well. Later on today, Ons Jabur, Tunisian, take on Sofia Kenin, while Victoria Zarenka take on, takes on Iga Sviatek. And in the men's doubles, at the moment, there's this one going on between Jackson Withrow and Jack Sock. They're currently trailing against Mate Pavic. Going on at the moment, as in Sabandentese of Italy by four goals to two. Of course, there's also the game between Union, Union Berlin and Nuremberg. It's 2 1 right there. Our very own Nigerian uh, man, Anthony Uja, played for uh, Union Berlin last season. It's not in the match they scored to their new manager and of course uh, currently leading Provecelli by a goal to nothing away from there 20 the club that now has Tyron Ebuei nil nil against FC MN it's that game going on in the preparations for the Eredivisie season Ebuei is on the bench in that one the game is just 14 minutes old and of course in Spain Celtic in that encounter as once again the games are going on in the UEFA Nations League and Azerbaijan have had a man sent off against Luxembourg. Yes, the tide could have turned. They were 1-0 up, but they're one man down as well. And now 1-1 against Luxembourg. In Egypt, Aswan 2-2 against Smuha at the problems in terms of uh, Joat visiting your tickets. At the moment, 16 minutes gone. In the Nations League encounter between England and Iceland in Reykjavik, it is no, no. Let's take this call before we go for this break. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Good evening Femma. What's your name? My name is Biadun. Okay, Biadun, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Okay. I'm doing well, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, Biodo. Uh, well, right now, as far as uh, uh, that is concerned, one thing constant in life is that we all move on, and uh, that is as far as I. Can. Brilla, brilla, F -fair, brilla, brilla, F got my goals in the number nine, top notch. To get to the Remy and I only listen to Brilla and Fam, they stay winning. Brilla, Brilla, F -fair, Brilla, Brilla, F -fair, Brilla, Brilla, F -fair, Brilla, Brilla, F -fair, Sports Radio, Brilla, F Fam, 88.9, baby. Hey, sports fans, you can now watch your favorite Brilla programs live on Android and iPhone devices anywhere you are. Download the Brilla app on Google Play Store for Android and the Apple App Store for iPhone users. Just type B-R-I-L-A and look for the football with a microphone wrapped around it. Download the app and watch your favorite presenters live. 
What are you waiting for? Just type B-R-I-L-A and look for the football with the microphone wrapped around it. Take Brilla anywhere, everywhere. Brilla, your home of the fans. Hello? James, look, I'm on the expressway. My car just broke down. I, I don't even know what to do. I don't... Sorry, you do not have sufficient credit to continue this call. Oh, please, no, no. Why not? This is an important call. Then you should have recharged. I would, but I'm in a position where I can't. Why not borrow some credit then? Eh? Borrow credit? How? Ah. With Globe Borrow Me Credit, you can borrow airtime and pay later. It's easy. Just dial star 321 hash and follow the instructions. Wow, that's fantastic. Globe is always there for you when it matters most. <laughs> Sorry, James. As I was saying, eh, my car just broke down now, and I, I have no help here. Everywhere. The Brilla app is available for free download on Google Play. It is also there on the Apple iTunes Store. Yes, on Google Play and the Apple iTunes Store. Look out for the Brilla football and microphone logo with the letters B R I L A in green color. That is our authentic app. It gives you Brilla FM, Brilla.net, Brilla Sports.tv, and all the extra betting tips, live scores. Plus our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus and YouTube posts. Sports fun. You can post your videos and eyewitness reports. Brilla. B-R-I-L-A. Available for download on Google Play and the Apple iTunes Store. Take Brilla anywhere, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere on your handset. Hello, this is Heidi Gabriel Hi, I'm Michaelis and My name is Danny Jordan. My name is Peter Rufai. My name is Kuro Tuwe. Hi, I'm my name is Jaro Rangira. Hi, my name is Victor Moses. My name is Jaro Rangira. I'm Joseph Yabo. My name is Austin J. Jurokocha. This is David Dean, former vice chairman of Arsenal and Football Association. We are 88.9. We're reaching out to bring the big names to you. Sports Radio 88.9 Driller FM. There's nothing like it. It all kicks off right here. Driller FM on 88.9. The station with attitude. Just that filtered through the airwaves when Lionel Messi continued to stand off with football club Barcelona. At that point, we had not known that Lionel Messi was going to do, was going to pull the stunt and some make a had, 360 turn. Some of us had the inkling that he was just auditioning for the uh, the Academy Awards next year. And <laughs> he wanted us to forget about I, the I hate <laughs> to admit defeat to Bayern Munich. I know. Uh, you don't need to mention it. Yeah. Don't mention the 8 2. But of course, I mean, that Messi was going to leave. We didn't know that what he was doing was um, auditioning for the Oscars. <laughs> and uh, in the end, what has happened is turned around. But before that, a certain Barcelona player, we're still in Barcelona, by the way, asked reportedly, in quote, Braithwaite, you reportedly asked, there's been rumors, Messi read that news. He saw the news that he said this guy asked for my number 10 shirt. And now you are back in the same dressing room with that guy. How are you going to feel in the same dressing room? If I, I mean, is there not going to be an elephant in the room? No, I think for the players, it's probably just going to remain as banter for we the fans. But as players, one, Martin Braithwaite, it shows his ambition. It shows that he has big dreams and he has big goals. And then when you, there's this statement that when you shoot for the, for the, uh, for the sun, you get the stars. So when you shoot for the stars, you get the sky. You just land on the roof. Josh so. is part of those fire. 
and then when you retire, you end up in a Greek prison. <laughs> Even before, 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 before Brit with um, asked for the number ten JC, uh, there were reports, there were messages flying um, on the internet that uh, about going on deal telling uh, Barcelona to retire the number ten JC if Messi leaves. So we now look at Brit with asking for a number 10 jersey. They just they were saying no. they should retire. Even, even, even at that point, Seth, there were even messages on the internet that Barcelona board replied to him and told him, you will leave before Messi leaves. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, wait. So honestly, I, I, if I was Messi, I wouldn't be angry with you. No, well, no but, 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 <laughs> but be honest, would there not be an elephant in the room? Like, I don't think who's this guy? I don't think there should be. Because you said you are leaving. I didn't ask for it while you're there. You said you are leaving. So if you leave, I will take your share. It's, Z- it's ambitious. Zero seven it's ambitious. double zero double zero I double zero double zero eight eight nine. That's the number to call. You can also join us on Facebook, Sports Radio Brilla FM, on Twitter at Brilla FM eight eight nine, on Instagram at Brilla FM eight eight nine as well. If you were Lionel Messi, you are back in the him. club now. I'll probably make fun of him. You read in the papers when you were saying you wanted to leave. You had not left the club. It's not just any player. Brett Wills came and demanded for a number 10 jersey. Hello, good evening. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Speak up. Okay, he's not ready for us. Right there, when you're ready, please call us 07-00-00-0089. When Bill Gates left with school, people thought he was a fool. When, um, when, uh, 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 this is not the same. Hey, Fermoir. Oh, how are you doing, Fermoir? I'm good, good. Yes. How are you? I'm, I'm great, I'm great. What's your name? Good evening to Josh and Uche. Yes. Uche and Josh. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Oh, Dozier, yeah, good evening. How are you doing, Fermoir? I'm good, I'm good. Um, let me do. Yeah. wait, Dozier, yeah, wait. If you were the one, if you yeah. were Messi, what would you do? You read in the, you saw it. Ah. Even if wait, if we not, it might not have happened. You understand what I'm saying? But you read it in the papers, so the, you feel like there should be an hint of truth in this thing. If you were the one, if you are messy, you now go back to training. What's the first thing you would do to break with, or you just leave him? Yes, if, if if I were messy, I, I would have a very very big laugh. I mean, I'll just that's laugh all. and fall down on the ground. <laughs> that's all. Yes, that's it's, all. Just it's, a laugh. Banter. Seriously, I I'll, I'll laugh seriously you guys. Me, when when um when it happened, actually I was not really big on Brazil, but immediately I saw that news, I heard that news, I became a fan of him because everywhere was so serious. Messi is living, Messi is not living, everybody were crying and all that. And the guy just found space for something different. And besides, uh, FJ, yes. it was a conditional statement. Mm. But he said if Messi leaves, he did not say when Messi leaves, I will take. He said if Messi leaves. Wait, wait, does he, does he, does he, mm-hmm. when he says, mm-hmm. wait, see, all this one that we are saying, if, conditional mm-hmm. statement, mm-hmm. we are speaking yeah. grammar, why did he mm-hmm. ask for the jersey number in the first place? Yeah, MG. He MG. should have waited MG. for Messi yeah. to leave. It's ambition. Uh, it's MG. ambition. MG. It's ambition. <laughs> It's dream. Okay. It's gold. Yeah, Josh, Josh, forget ambition. No, 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 and maybe according to Nadi, they retire that jersey number 10. Mm-hmm. Then the other players come into the dressing room, or maybe the players are seated in the dressing room, and Britwick walks in. I mean, they will laugh to you like that. You are supposed to be our next number 10. You just think something that will be funny throughout the whole season. You understand? Well, be a third, but let me stay behind. For me, it's just, it's just for laughter. Maybe they will just find a, a, Spanish, a Spanish name for a fake mercy for him. So the dressing, we'll not call him that. Wow, and, we'll and, the, and the one that was if he performs, okay. Wow, wow. Wow. Dozier, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on, guys. Thank you yeah, very yeah, much. Dozier right. says that he would have laughed it off. If it were you, what would you do? Hello, good evening. Hello? Good evening. Mm-hmm. Yes, what's your name? Okay, 07 00 889 07 Double zero, double zero, double zero, eight, eight, nine. If you were the one, what would you do if you were Lionel Messi? 
you read it, you saw it. That Bracewith, Martin Bracewith. Bracewith was playing for Leganes. He was a joker, transfer joker. That's who he is. Due to injury. Due to injury. That's why he came home. Came as a replacement for Luis Suarez. This is this is and then how, this is he how plays, people are making fun of Johnny. And then he plays. This wait, 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 wait. It's not the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. This is how people. This is how people. Stop the comparison. This is how people. Stop the comparison of our Igalo. Igalo of our of our champion. Stop the comparison. Igalo did not ask for United number nine jersey. Okay, okay. Martin Brentwood, and if Igalo asked for number nine jersey at Man United. Totally worth it. It's not. It's, it's, it's not a with Jesse. Yes. Number seven is not, too, number, is too, is number too legend seven. Legend, legend of Manchester United. Of Manchester United. But Barcelona, number ten. Do you not know want to know those that won the Jesse? I know. Rivaldo, Craig, Riquelme, Riquelme, Ronaldinho. This is on the line. Okay. Sorry, is it Lecon or Lecon? Which of the two? They are, they are the same thing. Yeah, the same. Is okay, good evening. Location, location not needed. Next. I, I hope, I hope, okay. I hope okay. someone okay. in your street, okay. some girl in your street is not, Just, I, is not putting on that. Be careful. <laughs> Leko. No, no, no. Leko. No, no. Leko. No, no. Leko. Yeah. If you yeah. are going to Messi, Martin okay. Bradwood from okay. Denmark, yeah. that yeah. you that they sign emergency signing from Leganes, <laughs> ask for your number ten shit. Next time you see what we'll do. I'll just look at him and laugh. You just laugh. That's all. Because, because that's a joke. That's a joke for him. It's just, I'm just laughing by the tea. And I it will be so thank God. But it's not work. That just is too big for him. It's too big for him. It's too big for him. Nick says the just number 10 is extra large. Breathweight is, like, is, is medium. Breathweight is medium. <laughs> Number 10 is XXL. It's not even XL. Yeah. In the context, we are standing now at the marketplace and we are saying, all the animals with on, stand up. Van comes forward. Cow comes forward. The rhino comes forward. And then the snail shows fish. This um, Hello. 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 This name will show face. Because yeah. yeah. it will take it will take ages for this name to get. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, how are you doing? Sir? What's your name? Sparky. Please can you work on your phone line? Yeah. Okay. Fermoir, go ahead. Yeah, if I were to be nasty, mm -hmm. I will encourage him. You will encourage him. Pat him on the back. Yes, I would I would like him to give him his back for it. Mm. Because he wanted to show the can actually what he himself in Messi have achieved. Hmm. So I'm not bad for that, I wouldn't be happy. Hmm. You will even be happy. But yeah. aspire. So that you will inspire and retire. Don't let them deceive you. Martin Bradway, is it the goals of Lionel Messi that wants to score? Or the assist? At Leganes. They yes, may never, there may never be any Lionel Messi again in football. Does he want? There may never be any Lionel Messi in Barcelona. Do you, Messi, do you Barcelona? think Martin Braithwaite can break Ronaldinho's numbers? Can achieve Ronaldinho's numbers at, at, at Barcelona? He doesn't, With the number 10 shit. He doesn't have the uh, 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 the capability to. He's can he wow? To. Can he but wow? He go. Can he wow the camp move like Ronaldinho and Diego Maradona? Everything. Diego Maradona was a. Catholic it was very close. So what did this guy play in the last classical? Rivaldo won the. Rivaldo won the. Rivaldo won the. Uh, uh, the, the world best. Uh, world best. Why yeah. play? Why doing number ten shirt? Yeah. Josh. Josh. Come on. Man, Josh. Wait, wait. He didn't Josh. commit. He didn't commit any offense. Josh. He just has ambition. You want me to wear the the, the cloak? Is it you guys who just rubbish a poor man's ambition? Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes. Yeah. Please, why am I hearing myself? To phone line, Zachary. Hello, good evening. You can't hear yourself in two places. Hello. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? What's your name, Femo? I'm good. First time caller. Ah, first time caller. That's great. Just ringing the bell for you. What's your name? Yes, my name is Munachi. Munachi, you're already laughing. <laughs> yeah. Who does that to me here? Wait, 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 do, wait, Munachi, Munachi, if you were Lionel Messi, uh, what would you do? <laughs> no, be honest. Tell us the truth. You were Messi. Somebody, see, not just anybody. He, 
His dreams, his dreams can only come to win this car, come down. But <laughs> he's already inspired to retire. <laughs> you mean he has been inspired to aspire to retire? To retire. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were the one, you just laugh. Now this guy. <laughs> yes. The Sopretan and the Azbeskan is concerned. We're currently looking at the man, not the legend, Martin Braithwaite. Hello, <laughs> good evening. Hello, good evening, Fema. What's your name? Oh, we lost that one. 82 minutes gone in the UEFA Nations League between Iceland and England. It is nil nil. There's not been so much action there. The only thing that's been bright about this game has been the jerseys of both sides, looking very radiant and beautiful. Hello, good evening. Nah, Iceland. Good evening. Yes, good evening. What's your name? I'm James. What's your name? Your name is James. James, why is your line echoing? Please rectify. You cannot be listening to yourself while speaking. Hello, James. No, my name is Kendi. K F. Kendi, Kendi. Kendi. Oh, Kendi. How is Ty? <laughs> He's fine. Okay, great, Femwa. Yeah. Yes. Hey, who said so? What do you say? Okay. Okay. Listen. This is oh, it. Number ten, eighty four. Martin. Uh, Martin. Martin. Great weight. The Danish international of football club Barcelona said last week, if Lionel Messi leaves, give me the number 10 shirt. If he leaves. Thank God Messi did not leave. If he had left. Me, I love in Spanish. You love in Spanish, but you are laughing in English. Hey, I think it's not one person that said this. I just say you should send that person to slap. <laughs> ah, so you mean Braithwaite is not normal? Is that what you are saying? <laughs> no, I just mean I, I don't mean he's not an official that said this. <laughs> I just send the person to slap. Ah, okay. Is ah. if he's not an official? Because Braithwaite asked for message number ten shirt. That's all he did, though. He did not do more than but that. He did not commit more. He did not kill anybody. He didn't even go. He didn't even go and collect. He didn't even say Messi must. Leave. He was just number ten shirt. He asked for. Let's be guided, though. That, what, slap. Before He's going people, too far. Before some people send thunders. Yes. Some people start sending thunder. Like some people in some other places. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Good evening, my brother. Yeah, good evening, Femma. What's your name? Noah is Okay, Noah, I've got Josh and Uche right here. I've been listening to your program since. Yes, thank you very much, Noah. Well, you know, in the Yoruba Proverbs, anybody might be a good one, I go for my beer here. Wait, 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 Noah, Noah. Translate, yeah, yeah. translate it to English. Let those that yeah. don't understand Yoruba understand what you're saying. Okay, someone that is going to eat noose. You first of all looking for the real meat. Ah, what, what, what do you mean now? Huh? What do you explain yourself? Thank, thank you very much. In, in, in Barcelona squad, as of, as of today, even 10 years to this time, no one can hold that number 10 like Messi. Mm. And you know, when you see someone that is doing good, you like to jealous that person or to try to meditate that person. Mm. Uh, well, what I think is that, you know, he loves uh, Messi. Mm. You know, you know, he thinks that when, when he put on that number 10 jersey, whether he can perform like Messi, mm. which is, can, it can't be possible. Mm. It can't be possible. What's the wisdom? Mm. Another perspective. What's the wisdom? Mm. Mm. This, is, this is beautiful. Are you yes, yes. He's he, 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 he look, he looking for the good things. Mm. Are you getting But if... Like what you said that if I'm messy, I'm not about to be true. What I'm just going to say is that I will call that person on phone. Come, I will try to uh, what am I I'm give her a, a lot of training. Whether it can become someone like me, I give her a thoroughly training. Mm. Mm. By that time, you know that it's not easy to hold that number. After, after, since when uh, Ronaldo beat uh, Madrid, mm. Madrid, mm. let me talk about Madrid. Madrid, yeah, Madrid yeah. That number seven is a stable number. Mm. It's even heavy on. It's not. The great Denazar Jeff. 
Yeah, can't you see what Assad is doing now? Mm. One, 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 day, one day playing two, 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 two times two uh, two times in jury. In the hospital. Mm. number seven. You see, Messi and Ronaldo, they are winning. No, it's an evil move. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's an evil move. The whole world knows. That's why. That's why they don't. They cannot. You see, when this uh, all this katakata started uh, with Messi, they were saying, "I am Messi fan. I'm really Messi Barcelona fan. I'm Messi fan. Mm. Really Messi fan. I told people that Messi will do it. Barcelona will not allow Messi to go. Mm. They cannot mm. because." Because the Messi stepped out of that Barcelona fast now. Mm. Barcelona should forget about the early trouble. Ten years to this time, we should forget about it. Mm. Yes. What? Yes, ten years to this time. Uh -uh. Is it that I'm you? telling you. I'm telling you. Because it's a, it's a great matter to the uh, Barcelona. Mm. After Barcelona, is Messi. After Messi, is Barcelona. Forget about the coach. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's my own. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Let's, let's, yeah. also, let's also look at um, Cristiano Ronaldo at Man United. Mm. He left United in 2009. Mm. That number seven jersey has seen six players take that number seven jersey. Wait, wait, let's, 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 let's. And there's only been 14 league goals. That was where I was going. That's <laughs> How many goals? <laughs> 14 league goals. So it's just life. Someone must wear that jersey. It can't be vacant for life. It's just, it's just life. But jerseys are retired for a purpose. In some clubs, in some clubs. Let's 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 take a look. Before P.I. make Obama, there was Walker. a certain Theo Walker, Walker, who for years aspired to Maguire that shirt. I'm coming. A moment. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Yes. How are you doing, Fermo? Please do something about your line. Hello. Hello. This. What is it? What do you say? I said this is Bobby. Curry. Okay, Bobby. Go ahead, Bobby. Josh is in the <laughs> studio. Who chairs in the studio? All right, uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, hey, okay, uh, Bobby, just before you continue, 89th uh, minute, England have been awarded a penalty against Iceland. That penalty will be converted by Raheem Sterling. Go ahead. Wow, that's good. Uh, and that gets him on that turn, man. Mm. That guy always she learns for body work. <laughs> Sorry, did you just call the jersey number 10 a shrine? <laughs> Nobody feel that jersey for Barcelona. Mm. That just in a full stadium himself. So mm. Now big deal for the guy. See mm. like what that guy said. Nobody can feel that jersey number seven in Real Madrid. Mm. He's having on hazard. Mm. So if nobody can fit in that uh, messy jersey, they should just retire that number. Mm. Nobody can fix it. I'm not saying that Messi will not come in next generation, no. Mm. But in Barcelona, it's going to take a full century. Mm. It's going to take a full century. Thank you very much, right there. This is going to take a full century. However, it took England 89 minutes to break the deadlock against Iceland. The only way England know to score against Iceland is from the penalty spot. It's already a pattern. Unfortunately for them, Paul Dawson almost had his foot on that. Yes, and of course, uh, when Rini scored in 2016, Ryan Sterling scores today. The question is whether uh, Iceland will score within two minutes because uh, in 2016, England score, and uh, it seems as though a penalty has been given to Iceland as well. Joe Gomez acts down Joe Daddy Bovitson, and it is a penalty and a yellow card to the Liverpool defender. It is actually a penalty to Iceland. <laughs> and Jordan Pickford will face whoever it is who will take the, the spot kick. But, uh, well, it looks a little bit. Do you think that was a penalty? Uh, yeah, it was clumsy. He, he ran into him. It probably wasn't intentional, but. It is life. It is the rules of the game. Mm. Be careful when you are. There's an encroachment by the team attacking, and they miss the and, and the score. 
that penalty will be taken because they are the ones who had the advantage. So it's always trying to meter the advantage of one team mm-hmm. to the other. Uh, uh, maybe it is the defending team that commits a rule and gets a reward because of that rule. Then they get punished. So it's, it's vice versa. I don't think it's, it's just only favoring the attacking team. It also favors the defending team when the defending team commits a blunder. And uh, Biku Biamason, one of the players who shone like a million stars in 2016, has missed a penalty. It's Radio 88.9 Bella FM right about now. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yes, how are you doing, Femma? What's your name? I'm Sule. Oh, Sule, can you do something about your line? That's a little bit um, clumsy there. Okay. Can, can you hear me now? Okay, yes, it's clear. Go ahead, Sule. All right, Sule is my name. Okay, Sule, go ahead. Something you need to know about this stuff. Mm. That guy is just being patriotic. The one that then shared was not sold in the numbers. A lot of iconic names have won, have put on that shirt. And he decided to go. This guy has um, ambition to aspire. And he now said, please, so in case Messi goes, this is the shirt I need. He didn't commit any crime. Siri, so wait, S- Siri, sir. wait, Siri, wait. Are you okay, you are you are telling Martin Bracewith to aspire to perspire? Hmm? It's not about aspire to perspire or to retire. Mm. The, aspiration, the aspiration is very, very ambitious. Mm. It's an ambitious aspiration. Mm. The aspiration is right. Mm. Because let me tell you, the, 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 the way a manner Lena Messi dragged this issue with Barcelona is very, very is I think he was, he was um, in, a, in the entertainment um, um, industry, mm. you know. We will go to, he, he, he would have allowed people to sympathize with Barcelona, not sympathizing with him. He was in a match. What's your creativity? Go to the whole number 10 shirt. I believe, I begin to believe that the number 10 is even heavier than the MSC this time around. Mm. I think we should ask the letter number. You, you, you let the team lose. Who carry the team on your shoulder? They lose up to eight. So they can never, I mean, it, it, in the history, I think it has entered the Guinness Book of Records. Let's see what's there in that case. No, it's not the first time. But what you should have done is you, you come clear with your, 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 your employers and let them know. I'm not beginning to ask him. Let him know. Who told you not to want to leave? It is a shame of that win. The shame of that lose mm. that he is just bringing up all these issues. Mm. Who told you Messi can leave? to which club? Mm. Who can buy Messi? Mm. Apart from buying Messi, where will he go at this age? Who told you Messi will survive in England? Mm. Messi will go in a long time into in England before he comes out, he turns 35 and that's all mm. about him. Mm. So where he is, he's the master. Mm. He can't do more than that. He's not in the drama. Mm. Messi is not in the drama. He's not in the drama. He's not in the drama. He's not but he is there, he should just calm down. If he's leaving, somebody must wear that pension. Mm. And if this guy has said that I want to wear that pension, he has not committed any crime. Mm. In fact, the company did not say that shirt just for Messi alone. Mm. He will go, and other people will still wear it. So mm. I don't see anybody criticizing that guy or saying he was aspiring badly or stuff like that. Mm. That's for me. That's my tip. Okay. That's my personal opinion. Yes, yeah. thank you very much. Valid personal yeah. opinion right there. Serial, not Ulisema, the Enyemba midfielder the best player in the NPFL last season great guy as well uh where's the jersey number eight last se- okay last season yeah. for Inyemba, not ten last season that was um the truncated season soon the NPFL <laughs> will be back as well let's take this goal hello good evening yes good evening fam well, what's your name Tunde Josh yeah. and Uche are here in the studio yeah Josh good you evening know, I I asked this yeah, about, it's my, um, mm. well, England and Iceland. Biku Bjarnason. Hello, good evening. Yes, how are you doing, from uh, What's your name? I'm um, um, Your name is? Um, okay. Omar, um, uh, go ahead. I'm doing that. Yeah, Josh and Uchi, uh, right here. We're doing good. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, good evening. What, what I think about the, the matter is that um in asking for the number ten Josh. Mm. Um he is right or let me see his opinion. Mm. So he is entitled to see what whatever he wants. Mm. And if I'm 
I didn't give me a no food. I just laugh. Mm. But Don't compare. He was great in the seventh and the ten. And his last three seasons were the kung fu. After the kung fu kick was in the ten. Was in the ten. So yes, that's pretty much understandable as well. But Luke Van Nistelrooy. Yeah. Wayne Rooney. Yes. Um, Bucky Bobby Charlton was nine. George Best. Okay, the Best was seven. The Best was seven. It's Law. Yeah. Law. Yeah, Law. So you go to Arsenal and the classic jersey is 14. And Ian Wright's jersey number. Wait, eight? Yes, jersey number eight. eight. Yeah, Ian Wright's jersey eight. number eight. Ten was. The Let's look at the jersey number eight. Who's with the jersey number eight at the moment? Danny Ceballos? No, Danny Ceballos. Deserved jersey number eight. Um, under Ateta deserved. Okay. Ateta himself. Under Ateta. Ateta. Yes, uh, under Ateta. Under Ateta. Yes, okay. Deserved. 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 We're going to talk about jersey numbers when we come back. <laughs> because, you know, there's a little bit... We're talking about... Due respect to Martin Brigham. Fantastic, fine player. But sometimes you just have to say, maybe you didn't pay respect. Yeah, even even before Messi was given the number 10 jersey. 30, he walked, 19. He walked, he walked for him. Yes, and then 10. So, so Jesus in. Yeah. Martin Braithwaite. 19. <laughs> no, bro, he, he, started, he started from 30 <laughs> to 19. 19. Then Okay, 19. so so Braithwaite wanted to follow that same ascent. Yeah. Says 19, 19 to, 10. to 10. We go for this break. <laughs> no pay the bill. And her, and her Manuel Cuella Llanos. You can't compare Cuella Llanos. You can't compare Cuella Llanos, players who... In those days, that's forgivable. <laughs> it, was before, it, was before, it was before Giovanni, then before but, Ronaldo. Yeah, that's what I said. Before then, young then it, was, it was forgivable. There are times, see, there will be times when there will be that anomaly. Probably once in 100 yeah, years. There are always anomalies. The, the if, fans, it's, it's just like us now. now. If Abamayang leaves us now, us now will not just get through the number four. And so before Thierry Henry, there was... No, yeah, there was, there was no, no, not was no, somebody no, with significance. No, no, there's no, someone. There was no do some bad Jesse and do great things. Yes. Does not mean that someone cannot you start fire? You start to share that jersey. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask him a question. Let's look at jersey number nine for Liverpool. Okay. Yeah. Rush, Rush Fowler, Fowler, Torres, Torres. CC, great players, yeah. Firmino. Yes. I mean, let's talk about just just and look at that. Oh, and then and in the between, Andy Carroll. Andy Carroll. <laughs> Come on, fam. Does that not look a little bit? You look at the gentleman and you're like, it looks a bit Carol, skewed. number nine. It looks a bit skewed. Yes, but in his life, it his life. It let's, happens. Let's go it's pay the bills. bills. When we come back, Josh will continue to give us aspire to inspire and Maguire quotes because he's the one that's saying Martin Braithwaite doesn't. He? Martin Braithwaite comes, plays six months, and wants the jersey number ten. And of course, let me quickly take this one from Facebook. Job Pech says Samuel Chukweze will go to Barcelona next year and collect the jersey number 10 after Lionel Messi leaves. I wish he does go to uh, Football Club Barcelona as well. Puerto Peter might commend that guy and see a different thing in that guy than laugh him off or think he can't do what Messi has done for the club. It make, makes Messi concentrate more and look at what this guy can do in the coming season. Probably help him do better. Martin Berry is not a kid. He's not a youngster. He's a le- he's, he's an oldie. Well, he's a youngster to Messi, dude. And a youngster. We go pay the bills. When we come back, Josh will give him a record. That's what we're going to give him. If he yeah. continues this way, we send him off. Because he's preaching, aspire, to inspire. Well, you, guys have, you, guys have to, you guys have to live on so. The only person... <laughs> yeah, that was a choice. <laughs> the only person... The only person that has the license to do that... Steve Compella, Golden Arrows coach. He motivated the wrong player today. Thank God, Golden Arrows were safe. They couldn't get into the top eight, though. But be careful how you tell somebody to aspire to Maguire because. Turn 
turn up to your radio. Oh, yeah, turn up to your radio. Like, uh, 88.9 Spot Radio. Turn up to your radio. Oh, that's a lot of this Turn up to your radio. Hey sports fans, you can now watch your favorite Brilla programs live on Android and iPhone devices anywhere you are. Download the Brilla app on Google Play Store for Android and the Apple App Store for iPhone users. Just type B R I L A and look for the football with a microphone wrapped around it. Download the app and watch your favorite presenters live. What are you waiting for? Just type B R I L A and look for the football with the microphone wrapped around it. Take Brilla anywhere, everywhere. Brilla, your home of the fans. Guy, you don't see that new funny video for Twitter? That one with the boy. You mean this one? What of that brother Shaggy News Kitty? Where the circulate was up? Oh, this one. What of that meme? Where the guy? <laughs> Where mouth open like this, ba? Ah, Mr. Mm-hmm. Nuito. Which data you they use more of these things? My blood new data plans get me. Uh, are you serious? Just 50 naira. I they get 50 MB. And with just 100 naira, I they get 150 MB. Where have you use chat or browse on top of Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Hey, well, you don't do yourself, oh. Guys, that's 777 hash. Now, let you begin the browse, they go. Glow Unlimited. Take Brilla anywhere, everywhere. Yes, you can take Brilla with you anywhere, everywhere. The Brilla app is available for free download on Google Play. It is also there on the Apple iTunes Store. Yes, on Google Play and the Apple iTunes Store. Look out for the Brilla football and microphone logo with the letters B-R-I-L-A in green colour. That is our authentic app. It gives you Brilla FM, Brilla.net, Brilla Sports.tv and all the extra betting tips live score plus our twitter facebook instagram google plus and youtube posts sports fun you can post your videos and eyewitness reports brila b r i l a available for download on google play and the apple itunes store take brila anywhere everywhere everywhere on your handset When the fans ask for more, we at Sports Radio X8.9 FM gave them four wishes and a magical line. It simply means when you call 07 00 889 you're routed through four different lines. So when you dial a magical number, 07 889 you get through to us on four lines. That means you have four in one chance of having your voice heard your favorite radio station. So go ahead and start dialing. It's the 4-in-1 package from the home of the fans. Hi, DJ Dogba. Hello, this is Heidi Gavrasalasi. Hi, I'm Michael Eisen. My name is Daniel Jordan. My name is Peter Rufai. My name is Kuro Chure. Hi, my name is Yaro Rangira. I put some, my name is Dr. Moses. My name is Lightning Boat. I'm Joseph Yabo. My name is Austin J. Jiro Kocha. This is David Jones. Hello, this is Ali Jones. Hi, I'm 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 Ali J
it's still Sports Radio 88.9, Brilla FM, and you are listening to our market. How have the tickets gone as far as uh, you were concerned? Iceland nil, England won. Two late penalties were exchanged, and of course, two red cards in that game as well. Kyle Walker got sent off as well as uh, Sophie Ingarsen. That was why uh, Ryan Ster- that was how Ryan Sterling got that penalty. And he scored, sent it straight down the middle. And then only two minutes later, Joe Gomez, Josh, knows a little bit about that one at the 2018 FIFA World Cup. But before we go into that, let's look at the starting lineups. Denmark take on Belgium in 14 minutes, or thereabouts. And the man we talked about, Martin Braithwaite, the legend, the man, the myth, starts today for Denmark. In goal, Kasper Schmeichel in defense. Simon Kier, Andreas Christensen, Robert Skov, Daniel Vass play in defense. In midfield, Thomas Delaney is joined by Pierre-Emi Oyberg and Christian Eriksen. Up front, Martin Braithwaite, Kasper Dolberg and Yusuf Yorari Paulsen right there for the Danish team. They're coached by Kasper Yulman. Remember, they see their ties with Morten Olsen just under two years a goal for Belgium today. Simon Mignolet starts in goal. Bent in midfield. Axel Witzel, Rudy Tillemans, and Yannick Ferreira Carrasco are joined alongside Romelu Lukaku, Dres Mertens, and Thorgan Azar on the bench for the Belgians today. I know a lot of people will be wondering where Eden Azar is. Eden Azar is on the bench for Belgium today. Roberto Martinez. Placing him on the bench. Also on the bench today is Leandro Trossard. Remember, Trossard were, is the Brighton and Ovalbian record signing. He's joined alongside Lenda Dendonka, Hans Vernakien, Kun Castils, Thomas Menye, Landry Dimata, Denis Pratt, and Brandon Mechala. Remember to, that Thibaut Courtois did not make this squad. And here it is. We go away from Denmark against 3A in the UEFA Nations League. Portugal against Croatia. The big news out of the Seleção is that Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aviero does not start today. In fact, if you look at the matchday squad, he is not there. Ronaldo stung by a bee, not Muhammad Ali. So, the Lyon goalkeeper rewarded for his heroics in the Champions League. In defense, Pepe, Ruben Diaz, João Cancelo, and Rafael Guerrero. In midfield, João Moutinho, Bruno Fernandes, or Bruno Fernandes as many like to call him, and Danilo Pereira. Up front, Bernardo Silva, Diogo Jota, and João Felix, the Atletico Madrid man. And for Croatia, Zlatko Dalic has gone with a slightly different starting lineup today. Dominic Livakovic starts in goal. Borna Barisic, Dejan Lovren, Tim Jedvaj, and Domaigo Vida start in defense. In midfield, Josip Brekalu, Mateo Kovacic, and Nikola Vlasic are there. While up front, it's Mario Pasalic, Ante Rebic, and Andre Kramaric. On the bench for Zlatko Dalic, we have Sime Visalko. Ivan Perisic, DJ Chaleta Saar, Marcelo Brozovic, Ivo Gerbic, Ante Budimir, Mile Skoric, Antonio Miko Cholak, Milan Badel, Bruno Petkovic, Dario Melnak, and Simon Sluger. For Portugal, Fernando Santos on the bench has got Ruben Neves, Mario Rui, Andre Gomes, Rui Silva, Domingos Duarte, Gonzalo Guedes, Trincao, the new Barcelona signing, Andre Silva, Sergi.